Hey guys, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In New York, I'm in the road. I need my Anyways, I've been getting quite a few comments that you guys like my editing and some of you have even commented that you wanted a how I edit on iMovie video. So that is what I am doing today. I'm super excited to film this for you guys and to show you all my tips and tricks. So I put a lot of effort into this video so that it is the only video you'll ever need to learn how to edit on iMovie and make your videos aesthetic, funny, you know, kind of crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah. If you are not already, don't forget to subscribe down below and let's just get on into this. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is how I actually import my video clips from my camera to my computer so that I can actually start editing. So I have two things that I use to actually import my clips and that is these two guys. They look very similar. So I use this thingy, which I'm not even sure the name for it, but I will find it and put it on the screen for you guys. But basically, you insert your SD card in here, like this, and you plug it into your computer and all the files that you filmed will be on your computer now. I use this thingy, which I'm pretty sure is a hard drive. And instead of putting all the video clips directly on my computer, I put them onto this thingy and then I import the clips from here to iMovie. So basically I plug these into my computer at the same time and that's how they work. So I have my computer here and this is just the MacBook Air. I think it's like the newer version though. Now they're both plugged in. So once you have them all plugged in, again you don't have to do this, this is just how I personally import my clips, but I go into the SD card and then I have the clip. Don't mind what that clip is, I have no idea what it is, but I'm just going to import it to my computer just to show you guys what I do. And I just open the folder on my hard drive that has my video editing little stuff there and then I just make a new folder editing and then what I do is I just drag it into that folder and usually I have to wait but once that is done I finally open iMovie I create a new project so I'm gonna create a movie because that is what you want to do and then I go to the little sidebar and I click my movie and then I click import media and I click the little media thing which is my hard drive and then I search for the folder that has it editing and then I import the selected and then once the video clips are done importing I just like to get all of these things out of my computer because they're really annoying to edit like this so I just eject all of them And then once you eject them, you can just un- Oh, I just dropped it. You can basically just unplug them all and then set them to the side. So to make editing a little easier, there are some keyboard shortcuts, which you should probably know about before starting. So the first one is Command B, which splits your clip or cuts it. Command C, which copies your clips. Command V which pastes your clips and Command Z which undoes anything that you just did. For this video, I'm going to be taking one of my clips from buying a skateboard. Go check that video out and editing that for you guys. Why do I look so creepy in that little paused moment there? I'm so sorry guys, I don't know why but when I screen record my computer, my video clips like lag a lot. So I'm very sorry about that, but I'm going to try my best to show you guys what I do. So the first thing that I do is I rough cut my whole video. So I basically cut out all the parts where I pause for a really, really long time 
forget what I say, re-say something, mess up. And then I also like to lower the volume of other clips. Like if it's a little vlog style where I'm just filming like scenery or like b-roll, I usually lower the volume of those clips to 0%. And then I also like to speed up clips or slow down clips depending on the situation but I usually do all those in my rough cut. I just go to this little side tab bar and this basically makes your clips more detailed but I like to make it around the fourth little notch there. As you can see in the beginning here I'm not talking at all and you can check that by the volume levels on the bottom of your clip. So I'm just going to cut that whole section out. How you do that is command B and then command B again to get the clip where you're not talking at all and then just hit delete and it's deleted. This part as you can see I'm pretty sure I'm just repeating the same word so I'm just going to delete that whole thing. So I split this clip which Basically, I'm not doing any talking, but let's say I want to make it a awkward pause and I want to keep it in my video. I'm going to lower the volume all the way down. And then, if I want to make this clip sped up, I click this little timer icon and you can change the speed. I usually do fast and then you can change how fast you want it to go. I usually do 4 or 8 depending on what I'm speeding up, so I do that for the whole entire video. The next thing that I do is color correction. I start by clicking one of the clips and then I go over to this color palette which as you can see is already blue because I already color corrected this video. But this is like my basic color correction so you know you can saturate it which I don't really recommend doing. I usually like to make it more on the blue toned part because I don't like to be too yellow in the video. I usually turn down the brightness or like exposure about like here but every video I do the color correction is different because of the lighting and all those different factors but this is like basically kind of what I do another little tip if you want to do something to all the clips you just click on the clip that you did it to command C to copy it and then you click on one of the clips click the shift button and then click the last clip so that you have all of them selected then go to edit paste adjustments color correction and it all should be the same next moving on to green screens so let me show you what i like to do i have a folder actually named youtube green screen and backgrounds and i just import that whole folder to my video and as you can see i have quite a bunch to get these green screens, you want to go onto YouTube. Basically, you can type anything you want, like flower green screens, border green screens, film green screens. I kind of like to do aesthetic green screens. So you just search whatever you want to search up. And there are tons of videos that you can choose from. I'm just going to click this video because it's the first one. So if you find green screens that you like in a video, what I do to save it to my computer is I copy the link and then I go to YouTube to MP3 Converter. And make sure you click MP4 because MP4 is a video format. And then you paste the link and click Convert. I'll have this website linked in the description box. And then you click Download and you just save it. Also, I do have a video on some aesthetic green screens if you guys want to check it out and use them. There are some of my favorite green screens in that video that I shared with you guys. And it is free for you guys to download and use. So once you have the green screens that you want to use, just import them to your little video. So since there's a lot of green screens in the videos that you download, you kind of just want to find the one that you want to use for that certain clip. And you just want to delete the other ones. So now I have the one that I want and then I just drag it on top of the clip that I want and I just make sure that it fits only that clip. I click on it again 
I go to this little uh, square overlay little icon and you want to click on green screen slash blue screen and there you go oh a little note for the green screens make sure that the audio is turned all the way off for the green screens because you don't want that music and then your own music to kind of like crash collide you know so another type of green screen that you can use in your video are text green screens and these are basically little text pop-ups and to make these i go on my phone on the app fonto and it is a free app and i just use this so i go to plain images I click like the white one and then I change the color to green. Now you cannot forget to change the color to green because a green screen only works if the background is green. And then you want to make sure that the size is 1280 by 720 and then click done and then I click use. And basically you tap anywhere on the screen to add a text. And let's say I want to say, hey guys. So there is your text. I usually use the font Havelica Bold Oblique for these little text pop-ups. And I usually make my font white with a black stroke. The width, I don't really like have a set number that I do, but I just kind of make it on the thicker side. And then I click done and Usually you can adjust the size that you want it and you put it anywhere that you want it on the screen. So I'm just going to put it on the bottom and then I airdrop that little picture to my computer. Then I just drag the picture to iMovie and then you just do the same thing. So I'm going to put it on here. So you just drag it to the top of the clip that you want it on, adjust the duration of it, and then don't forget to click the little overlay and change it to green screen. So going along with green screens, I'm not sure what you would call this category, but they're little video clips that you can find on YouTube, like this one. Two hours later. Or this. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. And to get that, you just search it on YouTube and you do the same thing. I go onto the YouTube to MP3 converter website and I just download that to my computer. So there's like the SpongeBob narrator one. We also have like little loading screens, which you can search on YouTube. And then we have this little TV thing, which if you want this, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's in my aesthetic green screen video. So check that out if you want it. And then I usually just shorten this to like seven seconds. Another thing going along with green screens is like little borders that are not green screen borders, but are just regular borders around the frame of your video. For this one, I'm going to use a photo that I found off of Pinterest, but you could do like a plain color or basically anything. So you just want to drag your picture that you have to the editing section and then drag the clip that you want the border on on top the picture. And then you just want to shorten the picture so that it matches your clip. And then click on the video that is on top the picture and click the little overlay icon and select picture in picture. So then you just want to make your clip as big as you want it and make sure to center your video. And you see how it is like darker on the sides. You just want to click this little circle and drag it so that it doesn't fade away in the beginning or ending. Now I'm going to be showing guys how I do my little funny editing when I am talking. So for this, I usually use crop to fill, Ken Burns, a black border, and flipping my video. So I'm going to show you how to do Ken Burns, which is this, and also this. So to do this, you want to click on your clip that you want, click the little cropping icon, and then click on Ken Burns. So there are two different like styles you can do this in. So the first one is the most common one, which you adjust the little end box, 
and make that really small and centered onto your face and it basically zooms in like this or you could do a zoom out which is also pretty cool to watch and this one you do the exact opposite you take the start box and you make that one small and then you make the end box like as big as the screen and it looks like this so the next thing that i like to do is when i list stuff i like to do this which is basically zooming in on my face then flipping it then unflipping it and then zooming back out or zooming back in it really just depends for this you just split your clip with the things you're listing so let's say i'm listing bananas apples and strawberries you want to split bananas apples strawberries so you want to split all those words up so that they're just by themselves in that clip and then after you split them like this so let's just pretend those are all like different words that i'm listing i usually zoom in so i click on that clip select crop to fill which does not zoom in it just goes like this for this you just want to adjust the size make it smaller center your face if that's what you're going for and then it basically zooms in so the second thing that i'm listing i'm going to flip it you just click these little rotate ones either one and it flips your entire screen and then the last one I just leave it like that or I even crop it again maybe this one I would go like more zoomed into my face just because it's the last one and you want to make it like actually noticeable another thing that I like to do when I'm listing things or if I just want to make it more emphasized or entertaining i go to the backgrounds tab right on the top and then i scroll to the bottom click the black background drag it to my little video editing place and then i drag the clip i want on top of it kind of like the borders and then i shorten it again and then i click on that clip on top and i do the little video editing icon and do picture in picture but this time I'm not going to be really making it a border and I'm just dragging that in the middle usually I like to leave the video small because it gives more effect I hope this whole section made a little bit of sense it's a little hard to explain but I hope like my examples will kind of show you what it's supposed to look like and going along with this little funny, entertaining editing part, I like to do voice effects on some parts of my clips. So I'm going to be doing it on the zoomed out black border thingy. So I'm going to click on my clip, go to the little circles, and click audio effects. And my favorites to use are pitch down to and pitch up to. Going along with audio effects, there is also different audio sound effects on iMovie that are free that are really good to use for like pop-up tags and little things like this. So to find those, you go to the audio tab on the top, click sound effects, and these are all free. There's a lot and you just drag this to the bottom of the clip that you want then i drag my instagram overlay on top of the beginning of the bottle cork sound effect and then i just shorten it to however long i want it to be on the screen for and those are like basically the only ones i use but you can definitely explore all of them Going along with audio is of course music, background music. So I do have a YouTube video on my channel where I show you guys all the aesthetic music that I like and also how to get them. So go check that out. But I'll just show you guys really quickly what I do to get my music. So the first way that I do this is I go onto YouTube and basically I just search up lo-fi music and a lot of different ones come up. 
Some of the ones that I use are the sad and bougie trap queen. You just search up that song and then no copyright. And then you just copy the link and download it from the YouTube to MP3 converter website and make sure that it's clicked onto MP3 this time. The second way that I get non-copyrighted music is the website Thematic, which is free. You just sign in with your Google account. Basically, it gives you like a little link that you just copy and paste in the description box of your YouTube video, and you're all good, copyright free music. And once you found music that you like, you then can import it to your iMovie, and then just drag that music down below. So if you want to use music over your talking, like background music, I usually just split the clip and then I usually lower it to about 11% and then if you're doing like a little, you know, aesthetic time lapse, aesthetic intro, you know, little moment there, I just leave it at 100 or if it's like really loud, I put it down to 80%. Hey guys, so I'm editing this video right now and I totally forgot to include a section. And that is little text images like this. Roll the clip. I'm not sure if it has a name, but I'm not sure what to call it. So I'm calling it text images, text pictures. Just wanted to come on here and include that in the video. What I do is go on to Fonto, click the camera image, click plain images, Click the plain white background, click the color little tab, and then I like to change the background color. So this is the color palette that I have saved, and I was just testing out a few different colors that I might like. Then I click the done button and change the size of it to 1 to 80 by 720, and then click the use button. Then I'm just going to add text. You can add whatever you want. This is basically going to be like a little title slide, I guess, if you want it to be. So I just put aesthetic text images, and these are some of my favorite fonts that I like to use. Now I'm just adjusting the size and the placement. Then I like to go to color, and I usually leave the text as white and change the stroke color to a darker shade of the background color. Then I go into style, shadow, and click the second one from the right and adjust that to how I like it. The last thing that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is how to do little pop-up pictures. So basically get the picture that you want to like pop up into your video. I'm just gonna use the skateboard one that I used in my skateboard video. And you're just going to paste it into your video editing and I'm just going to shorten it just so that I can see it better. And you want to drag it so that it's on top of the part of the video that you want it to be on. And you see how now it's really zoomed in and big. You want to make sure that it's on fit so that the whole picture is on the screen. And then click the overlay icon and select picture in picture. Then you want to adjust the size to make it however big you want it or however small you want it. And then place it on the screen where you want it. Then you want to make sure that the border up here is set to zero so that it doesn't dissolve in the beginning and ending. And then it'll just pop up like this. 